Hello Boundless citizens, Boundmore here with yet another bit on the Glimbo Racing. Doing it for two reasons. One, to add some details on the Meteor Timer. And two, to show you my special event Sovereign World. Yes, I got a new world, Rugged Lush, attached to Landless. Didn't keep the original name, as I wanted something obvious. So there it is, Glimbo Racing Planet or GRP in short, or, as I like to call it, GURP. Here's the portal for you on the sovereign wall of the main TNT hub at Circurpus. The world is accessible to public to visit and scavenge. I built a small shelter serving as the starting point, a base of sort. You can buy an empty atlas here for easier mapping should you like to use it but forgot to bring one with you. Also, plain Glimbo totems if you are a forger or can take some to someone you know for forging. On the opposite side, a stand with forged Glimbo totems. Affordable, simple Glimbo meteor breakers. Just two boons each. First, the obvious area of effect. The second, either action speed or auto looter or glow. Check which is which before buying. So, step outside. The base is located off region center, so we can find a moment to settle down without triggering a meteor right away. The first region is really close, just a bit that way into the sandy area. So yes, let's talk about the timer. I stated you will easily have 90 seconds and more from the meteor impact, but that is only true for the meteors summoned with the Glimbo Augment. They are made to be easier to hunt, so they land closer. The natural, even time region triggered Glimbo meteors land farther away on average. Take a look at a few examples here and you will see there is around a minute left to complete the meteor from the impact moment on average. That also reinforces my conclusion from the Glimbo guide that the timer starts sometime around meteor spawning moment and longer travel time of the triggered meteors mean less time to complete them when they hit the ground. Still, it's not that difficult. I am able to get six glim chunks before breaking the meteor in most cases. I usually get on the meteor when the timer go below 30 seconds. But I managed to get to breaking blocks with less than 10 seconds a few times when waiting for the last cuttles to spawn. And it worked for me. With solo hunting and a level 1 meteors the size is not really that big so you can break half of the meteor in a matter of two seconds. As you can see in the footage I used, Glimbo Racing Planet is mostly flat with little trees and water and there is no ice to be seen. It's a regular size, 50 region world, so plenty regions to visit for the meteors. I will keep this world alive for the initial month at least, so even after the Glimbo racing is over, you can use it for regular hunting or maybe gathering of resources or blocks. Don't be shy to visit and use it to your advantage. I might lock it a few times for meteor spawning reset, so don't get worried if you see it locked will be back eventually. That's it folks, thank you very much for watching, hit like, subscribe and all, I very much appreciate your views. Also happy new year everyone as we are only a few days away from it. And remember to stay boundless.